Good morning, my friends. It's Sunday, September 25th, our day of worship, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. My little cat is giving herself a bath. Hey, honey, how are you today? Hello. And I have with me this beautiful painting by Dee Beggarly called Hello. This Sunday, St. John's Cathedral is celebrating St. Michael and All Angels, which is a feast day that is optional to celebrate on Sunday. And so one of our readings today is from the book of Revelation. There is a great battle going on in heaven and Michael and the angels fight with Satan, the devil, and all of his angels or demons. And Michael casts, casts Satan, throws Satan down to earth. And at the end of the passage, it says that things are hard for us here on earth. The devil is angry because he knows his days are short. Now, when I was younger, I thought about all of this as being, you know, evangelical stuff, metaphorical. But I believe more and more that there is a battle going on here on this earth and that the devil is raging, raging. The devil is angry, as it says in the book of Revelation, because he knows his time is short. When things don't work between human beings, often what is really going on is people are being tempted by the darkness. And so we think that we're angry at each other, that if we could just change the minds of other people, everything would be okay. What we do not see is the spiritual realm, that this is not metaphorical, this is cosmic, that there are forces going on beyond our understanding. We are battling with darkness here, not just with each other, not just with racism or homophobia or bigotry, not just with poverty or injustice or oppression. We are battling with demons and the devil the the satan the adversary so what do we do well i think one of the most important parts of this lesson is the fact that it's michael and the angels who do the battling and they cast the satan down to earth but the angels are still here with us so what do we do we fight yes but we ask for help we know that we are not the ones who save. Human beings don't defeat demons. Angels do. So ask for help as you try to do the right thing today, as you try to make the world a better place. Understand that it's not just up to you and ask for help. Ask for help from the angels, from Michael himself. They're around us doing good work. We can't always see that. But I think it is important to know what it is we're fighting. And it is not just each other. The devil wants the human race to tear itself apart. So hating other people doesn't do us any good. It is love that conquers. Love through understanding and asking for help. But don't for a minute think that there isn't a spiritual realm in which there is great struggle going on right now. Because our time is short, the devil knows the end of the story. We've already won. Love wins. It's just a matter of time. So don't ask, don't forget to ask for help today and every day. It's not just up to you. Thank God for that. Let us pray. Almighty God, on this day, we ask that you would guide us. Guide us in the knowledge that there is so much going on that we cannot see. Forces at work driving people towards 
hatred and injustice, but also fortress of work at work that can heal us and help us. Help us to rely on Jesus, on the Archangel Michael and the angels. Help us to pray and to understand that prayer is a weapon that does good. Prayer is the ultimate light that shines in the darkness. Help us use this light and the battle against all that is evil and dark. Lord, bless the sick today. Bless those who mourn. Bless the hungry. Bless the dying. Bless those who will be confirmed today in church. Bless those who are lost or alone. Guide us today, Lord, to do your work in this world. Guide us to be your hands and feet. And may your holy angels lead us towards the light. This we pray in the name of Jesus, your son, who was waited on by the angels. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.